Hair flying, okay, good to know. I'm probably gonna get like, hair blasted, maybe? Fair warning, this is a super random and strange team. Don't scare me like that. Don't, don't scare me like that, I don't wanna be scared. Okay, uh, that is a haunter. That is a what? Is it gonna be chlorophyll on the uh, on, on the on the dude? All I know is this guy's my best friend right here. Let's do this. Haunter has Levitate. Dude, don't spoil it! Alright. I need to get some more emotes in my chat. I'll put it in the budget. Okay. How scared am I of this? Not that scared. Let's do this. This covers basically everything. It's fine, I'm Cloak. Nice. Good damage, too. Substitute? Oh, no. What is it? Okay, it's such a spare. I was like, what's the item? I'm terrified. So I think I know what's going on here. Honestly, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Yeah, Arcanine doesn't care about like Nuzzle or anything either. That's like a really nice benefit I just thought of. Gonna miss. Okay, fine. I, I wanted to hit the Raichu. This Tropius is gonna be annoying for this game. I can feel it. Let's do this.
All right, cool. Uh, if they hard switched, they would have uh, gone first. So that means they probably vault switched here. I didn't realize that they come out of their uh, substitute to Terra. Terra flying. Okay, good to know. I'm probably going to get like hair blasted. Maybe? Unless they protect. Alright, get rid of you. Get a nice little boost there. Am I getting one shot? Leech Seed. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to see. I'd imagine this is where the Torkoal comes out. Yep. Alright, time to step on this Torkoal's dreams and aspirations in life. Rain Dance should go first, because I didn't actually get a, a speed boost from that last KO since it was uh, via Aqua Jet and not Aqua Step. Goodbye, Torkoal. Alright, nice. Uh, luckily, now, like, Harvest isn't activating every turn. I'm liking my position here. Garchomp. Okay. There's like no shot Garchomp eats this. It smells like a Terra. Go for the hurricane. Protect the chomp, that's fine. Hurricane should break a sub. It's just a matter of uh, if Quackleball goes down this turn or not. I don't think it's too bad if it does, because then I just get to like Tailwind, Specs, Dazzling Gleam. Or make it rain, I suppose it's better. Air Slash? I live that. Nice. And I'm going to take a little bit of Leech Seed damage, but... Yeah, now, now Garchomp is just cooked. And did we already see a Focus Sash somewhere? I, I suppose we haven't, so I'll double the Garchomp. Just in case. Alright. Nice one shot. Aquaball's really carrying its weight here. That's insane. Alright, now I'm gonna drop the Life Orb. Or I guess Rough Skin. And, uh, yeah, they don't take Golden Go too well, especially since they can't Leech Seed it. Wow, that thing is bulky.
All right, let's go Golden Go. And I just lock Choice Specs Thunderbolt in that's game. This is it. Goodbye. That was a really cool team. That that was actually a pretty cool team. <laughs> Why is Jogula so thick? Iron Bakery? Man, what's going on in the chat? Literally, I had no idea what Quaqua Vault does and I ended up be, uh, biting you in the butt big time. That's the reason I wanted to play. Great way to learn. It is a great way to learn. It really is. Okay, so we're facing Dylan here, and a little bit of a scary team. That being said, it's Arcanine time. Oh yeah, it's Arcanine time. And I like my boys in the back. I think we're actually going to leave uh, Quackle Ball at home this game. Yeah, I would say paradoxes. If if like paradoxes were on like a list of like general power level of Pokemon, they're lower than like Ultra Beasts and a little just marginally lower than like um what is it called? Just just like barely lower than pseudo legendaries. Only barely. All right, white herb. That basically confirms what the set is. It's it's going to be a physical set if you have white herb. And burning this iron hands is really good for me. Because a lot of their team was physical. Like, I know they have a roaring moon in there somewhere. Miascarata too. A burn on Miascarata is really great. And if I win the fake out war, which I might not, I'm running minimum speed. This is really good for me. Oh, but I am Covert Cloak. Silly Goose, I've won the Fake Out War. By default, my favorite way to win. Winning by default, the only way to win on this channel. All right, Iron Hands is no longer that big of a threat. Let's go for the Wisp and the Switch. Yeah, Tropius is really cool in that previous game. Substitute. Okay, looks like I'm not getting a burn, but I think Volt Switch breaks the sub just barely. I don't know. Maybe not. It's not that strong a move. Oh, that did nothing. Hello? Yep, okay, we break the sub. That's great. I believe they were speed boosting Valiant. Do this. Should be doing a ton. Oh, what am I saying speed boosting? They were white herb. <laughs> they were white herb. I'm so stupid. Honestly, Specs D Gleam into Heat Wave is going to do like way too much to this. As long as I connect. Alright, cool. Oh, okay. Alright. 
Volt Switch? Grain Punch, okay. Let's do this. Let's go into hands and just keep smacking them. Get fake out pressure next turn, that's always great. Punch does basically nothing. I actually don't even feel a need to fake out this turn, to be honest. Let's just go for max damage. Shadow Ball, nice. So, uh, Wild Charge is definitely KOs from this range. And I think I can bring in my, uh, I think I can bring in my Iron Jugulus. And just start clicking stuff, you know? Valiant. Miascarada. Um, Tailwind basically wins me the game here. Yeah. Let's go for the punch. And the Tailwind. Because then, like, my Arcanine comes in and just heat waves everything. Protect, nice. Encore? Um, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's Volt Switch here. Go into arc. So they have substitute, encore, they We saw we saw the white herb, so I feel like they have close combat spirit break. That did like nothing. And it looks like they're going to trick room. I'll get in Jugulus here. Interesting. Let's just go for a KO. Like, at this point, I win with Iron Hands, so it doesn't really matter. And I haven't Terra Flying this thing, like, at all. So I'd love to see if this KOs. This also makes me resist close combat. But it's likely what they just went for a fairy move. Nope, CC, cool. Resist that. Knock off. Nice. Let's see if I land this. Alright, Meowskarada. There's no way it wins at this point. And I connect the Hurricane. Sick. 
Nice. Good game. How many Paradox can you use on the team? Uh, any amount. Zero. Six. Most teams don't want more than one or two. Because if you have, like... Yeah, honestly, if you have more than, like, two Paradoxes in your team, there's a good chance it's not a very well-built team. Just by the way the format kind of works. I just found out Iron Hands has access to play rough, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's rough, dude. That's really rough. Sorry you had to go through that. Last viewer battle of the night before I figure out what I want to do. <laughs> By the way, guys, just want to point out, if you want access to extra content, such as, you know, one extra video a week at the top of the week on Sundays, uh, or, and also that video itself. You know, I'm going to start over. I'm going to start over the, the announcement because I just freaked it entirely. Guys, if you want access to an extra video at the top of each week, which is the team builder for the team I'm using that week, thus giving you access to the spreads early effectively, uh, by subscribing to the Twitch, becoming a YouTube channel member, or being a $5 donor on Patreon, you get one of those at the top of each week. Yeah, so you can already know what this team is made of. Alright. Uh, so, we see a pretty cool team here, actually. I actually haven't seen Salamence in a minute, dude. Hmm. Very scary team. Very scary indeed. I think I really like Quaqua Ball, but it's like also super threatening. Let's do this. This covers a lot of our bases. Yeah. This covers a lot of our bases. Also, we're at 145 viewers. Thank you all for the continued support on Twitch. Some nights I get home from work at 5 p.m. Knowing I have to stream in an hour, I rush to make my dinner and I close my eyes for five minutes after eating. Then I get up and stream and I think, maybe I don't want to go live today. But you guys showing up every night really motivates me. All right. Also, shiny dragon air. Very cool. How do you balance work and content? Dude, if you looked at my calendar, you would cry. You'd be like, what is this? <laughs> Who does this? So just, 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 just don't look at my calendar. Oh, the booster energy, are you... Speed, not great for me. TBH, not great. Not great at all. Do I want to hit the claw? I think I'm going to hit the claw. Yeah, I'm going to hit the claw. Why do you think I like ask you whenever I'm doing a team building stream? Why do you think I always ask you guys to give me terror shards? Because I legit do not have time to do it. I feel like that'd be a really good emote, hitting the claw. Terra Grass. Okay, good to know. Pokeball eats. I'm gonna tailwind. I'm assuming that thing's gonna tailwind too. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Very cool. Very cool. How lucky am I? How lucky am I on this day? I could risk it all. I could risk it all right now. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm doing this. I believe. I believe. 
70% chance to win. It's that simple. Will Qua replace Nene? <laughs> we'll have both. There's the Nene and then there's the Qua in the emotes. Organical. Hydragon, I beg you to land this hit. I beg you to land this hit. They protect. Okay, not great. Not not gonna lie, that's not great for me. Do it again. If I can get rid of this Iron Moth, I'm in a really good spot. Looks like they didn't switch. They have to have overheat to KO me. All right, cool, cool, cool. I just have to connect. I believe in you. I believe in you, Mr. Jugulus. That's the last time I believe in anyone for the rest of my life. Santa, the Tooth Fairy, the Queen of England, all gone. Don't believe in any of them. I gotta hit that rain dance. Do I? I don't. Good damage. Critical hit in the Iron Moth. Very good. Very good for me. Alright, as both of our Tailwinds are gone. Draw the moth, that's fine. Probably just gonna be Salamence. Yep. Can I get a burn on Salamence? I missed the Salamence, okay. Interesting. Let me think this through. I can still win, just very difficult. <laughs> just extremely unlikely. I wish I landed that hurricane. Alright, crit, one shot, win. That's how this goes. 
crit, one shot win. Very simple. Nope. there any way I suppose there is one way and that's calling the world's greatest wide guard and outspeeding us elements which apparently we do or do we no we don't I'm stupid <laughs> No wide guard. Can I outspeed, please? That doesn't even KO. That's so sad. Did we draw the Salamence? Hello? Amoongus, if I crit this though... No, I lose. Yep, that's game. Alright, I get Salt Cured and I lose. I will forfeit here. We run there. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it basically came down to that one hurricane miss. Because had I been able to hold on to like all my pieces there on that one turn, I think I would have just straight up won. Yeah, because Tailwind ended the next turn. I'd be able to reset Tailwind and do like Golden Ghost stuff, but it's fine. It's fine. It happens from time to time. So good game to my opponent. GG No Man's Land. Thank you for playing me. No problem, dude. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for for supporting the channel. 